Welcome to AmineAcademy.com. In four-year series, let us discuss about harmonic analysis. Some solving problems. What is harmonic analysis? The process of finding the Fourier series for a function given by numerical values is known as harmonic analysis. The term a1 cos x plus b1 sin x is called the fundamental or first harmonic. The term a2 cos 2x plus b2 sin 2x is called the second harmonic and a3 cos 3x plus b3 sin 3x is called third harmonic and so on. Now, the process of finding the Fourier series for a function given by numerical value is known as the harmonic analysis. Look at here, f of x equal, this is a Fourier series expansion, f of x equal a0 by 2 plus n equal to 1 to infinity sigma a n cos n x plus b n sin n x where that is f of x equal a0 by 2 plus a1 because you are substituting 1 for n a1 cos x plus b1 sin x plus a2 we are substituting n equal to 2 a2 cos 2x plus b2 sin 2x a3 cos 3x plus b3 sin 3x and so on here let it be this equation 1 here a0 equal a0 equal to 2 into mean value of f of x here mean value of f of x is here 2 into mean value of f of x equal to a0 the coefficient a0 that is equal to sigma f of x by n so 2 sigma f of x by n is a0 and a n is 2 into mean value of f of x cos nx which is equal to 2 into sigma f of x cos nx by n and b n the coefficient b n is 2 into mean value of f of x sin nx which is equal to 2 into sigma f of x sin nx by n remember these coefficients now if you substitute n equal to 1, 2, 3, like the term a1 cos x, b1 sin x is called a fundamental or first harmonic. The term a2 cos 2x, b2 sin 2x is called second harmonic and so on. Let us do some example problem to understand this concept. Compute the first three harmonic of the Fourier series of f of x given by the following table. x value is given 0, pi by 3, 2 pi by 3 and so on up to 2 pi for respective value of f of x is given here we exclude the last term that is 2 pi term we will exclude here that is x equal to 2 pi we exclude then by these values we will make a new table let f of x equal to a 0 by 2 a1 cos x plus b1 sin x then a2 cos 2x plus b2 sin 2x and so on now to evaluate the coefficient we rearrange the table vertically that is x values and and f of x values here. Now cos values but cos 0 is 1 and cos pi by 3 is 0.5 cos 2 pi by 3 is minus 0.5 like we have to use the cos values for this and sine value is cos sine 0 0 sine of pi by 3 is 0.866 like uh, pi by 3.866 like values of sin x by using this values here then cos 2x use uh, s cos 2 into 0 is 0 cos, cos 0 is 1 then cos 2x means pi by 3 into pi by 3 of cos cos 2 pi by 3 because using x equal to pi by 3 2 pi 2 into pi by 3 is 2 pi by 3 like we have to use these values and for sin 2x respective value of sin 2x the sin 3x cos 3x like we have to fill that table now a0 we know that 2 into sigma f of x by 6 since we are taking 6 values on that 1 2 3 4 5 6 this omitted so we are using the 6 values therefore uh, a0 equal to mean of and divided by mean that is 2 into sigma f of x by 6 
So we are using these values 1, 1.4, 1 1.9, 1 1.7, 1.5 and 1.2 and add and divide by 2 it gives 2.9 that is A0 is 2.9. A1 is 2 sigma f of x cos x. So we have to multiply f of x into cos x that is 1 into 1 is 1, 1.4 into 0.5 is 0.7 like these two multiplication and add them then divide by 6 we get this minus 0 0.37 then a2 is 2 into sigma f of x cos 2x this sigma f of x 1 into cos 2x 1 into 1 is 1 1.4 into 0.5 1.9 into minus 0.5 1.7 into 1 like multiple of f of x and a cos 2x and add them divide by 6 gives a1 will use this point minus 3.7. Same for cos 2x. Here multiply this person side and sin 2x cos 3x sin 3x. You have to get it respective values of a1 is here, a2 is here, a3, b1, b2. So we are having the coefficients. Now b3 is same 2 into f of x sin 3x by 6 0. Here now we are applying all values in this expansion that is f of x equal this is a Fourier expansion f of x equal a0 by 2 plus a1 cos x plus b1 sin x a2 cos 2x b2 sin 2x a3 cos 3x plus b3 sin 3x and so on. Therefore we are using that values those values we are having Look at here, that is here first a0, a0 by 2 here, a0 by 2 is 1.45 since two point nine we are having, uh, that is a0 is 2.9, we have a0 by 2 is this uh, one point because 2.49 divided by 2.90 divided by 2 is 1.45 then a1 value minus 37 cos x plus 0 0.17 sin x minus 1.1 cos 2x like this expansion therefore Fourier expansion of f of x equal to here next question obtain first three coefficient in the Fourier cosine series for y, where y is given, x and y is given, x is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and y value, respective y value is given. Taking the interval of as 60 degrees, therefore theta value is 0, 60, 120, 180, 240 up to 300. Uh, x and y values are given. Now, now vertically we will write theta values here cos of that theta values, cos 0 is 1, cos 60 is 0.5 like, cos 2x value, cos 3x value and then y values given this y values and as well y cos x then multiply of y cos x, y cos 2x, y cos 3x this. Then total you have to find this here that means uh, sigma values. Now a0 is 2 into 42 over 6 here y by 6 that is a0 is 2 into 42 by 6 or 14 a1 is 2 into minus 8.5 over 6 because 6 is 6 values are here 1 2 3 4 5 6 values therefore uh, mean you are finding a2 is a3 is Therefore, here the approximately it is here minus 0.5 by 3 is uh, approximately is minus 1.5 here. So we are Applying the values y function that is y equal a0 by 2 
and here this o equal to a0 by 2 uh, plus a1 cos 6, b1 cos 6, a2 cos 6, b2 cos 6. Not cos 6, it's sin x here. Now, we are expanding only cost function of Fourier series, that is coefficient of Fourier cosine function, cosine series. So, we are having this expansion, that is y equal minus 7, 7 minus 2.8 cos theta, minus 1.5 cos 2, 2 theta, plus 2.7 cos 3 theta, it expands like. Now, we can verify by using these values here of that means uh, theta values, then we can get y value is equivalent to this means what if you are using this x values and getting y values like. Now, one more example, the value of x and the corresponding value of f of x over a period t are given below. Show that f of x equal 0 0.75, 0 0.37 cos theta, 0 1.004 sin theta, where theta is 2 pi x by t. x value is given, y value is given. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the last value you can leave, exclude, then you are using 6 values here. We, we omit the last value of the t values here, then x varies from 0 to t, theta varies from 0 to 2 pi. Therefore, the increment is pi by 3, we are filling the table, theta values, y values, cos theta, sin theta, y cos theta, y sin theta, like it. Then we are applying that a0 equal to into sigma f of x by 6 gives 1.5, look at here, 2 into 4.6 divided by 2 is 4.6 divided by 2 is approximately 0.75. Like A1 is 2 into 1.12, which means y cos theta divided by 6. Sigma L is for A2, you have to use it. A2 is cos 2 theta. This is cos theta here, a2 is this, then we are applying those functions in uh, first three terms, that is a0 by 2, then cos and sine. So we are having f of x is, this is the expansion of cos and sine theta in terms of our Fourier function. We have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.